Craftsman Sky, happy Thursday. It's 10 days until Christmas. I think 10, I'm gonna go with 10. Um, this week's theme was to talk about Christmas traditions and stuff like that, but Christina went and filmed a German Christmas market montage and she is now on the naughty list on AOS. Um, no, not really, but I'm gonna talk about Christmas traditions because I don't have a German Christmas market near hand at the minute. Um, so I was talking to my friend Christine. Christine lives in Belgium about two weeks ago and she was telling me about Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I should have googled this. Um, she was telling me and it's basically like Santa Claus. It's when kids get presents um, in the morning from that word I can't say and um, it's basically the equivalent of Santa Claus but the thing was it was being celebrated that night that I was talking to her or I mean the presents were being delivered that night um, so that must have been on the 5th of December but then they still um, celebrate Christmas on the 25th like we do so um, Christina will probably fill in the blanks because that didn't really make much sense but hopefully she'll comment and let me know if the date was right and stuff um, thank you Christine so it just got me thinking about different traditions and stuff that people even within Europe have so I know a lot of you live in different places all over the world so I was hoping you could comment and tell us about Christmas traditions and the way you celebrate Christmas or if you celebrate Christmas rather um, and that would be nice we could all learn something from that um, Christmas here happens on the 25th of December, that's Christmas Day and that is the morning when presents are opened and then Santa Claus comes on the night of Christmas Eve or the early hours of um, Christmas Day on the 25th and he delivers presents to good kids. Oh, oh and recently I was watching a video by Kez on Sharing All The World, their collab channel and she was talking about Christmas and she was talking about Father Christmas and how Santa Claus sounds like a very Americanized thing um, for her to hear or for her to say and I completely disagree. I live in Northern Ireland so I'm kind of British, I'm kind of Irish, let's not get into that but um, I have always said Santa Claus, everybody I know says Santa, we don't say Santa Claus, it's usually just Santa and to me Father Christmas sounds like an old English movie so um, that's just something I thought was kind of strange. She lives in England by the way and she said that she always says Father Christmas. I hope I didn't dream this, I hope that's a real video that happened otherwise this makes no sense. Sorry Kez. Um, Within my family, um, we don't really do anything particularly strange. I think everything's pretty normal. Um, so we open presents in the morning and then, or I do, and my brothers just usually sleep until lunchtime. And, and then we have Christmas dinner, which is turkey. Most people I know have turkey. I think that's one of my favorite things about Christmas. Our house is always just filled with food. It's filled with chocolates and lots of lovely things that I just keep eating well into January. We usually go to my aunt's house um, in the evening on Christmas Day because um, there's younger family members and it's a lot more exciting at theirs and my parents will have a few drinks and the Doctor Who Christmas special will hopefully be on if I get in charge of the remote control. So Christmas is pretty quiet in my house. I don't know if you find it the same, Christina being the youngest, but when I was younger everything was a lot bigger. There were loads more decorations in this house. I didn't really talk about decorations, but. It's quite popular to really decorate your house here, um, to decorate your garden and to cover your house in lights and stuff. So yeah, when I was younger and when my brothers were younger, there were a lot more decorations in our house and everybody was a bit more excited and everybody got out of bed earlier, but now it's just kind of got quite quiet and I'm the one trying to keep up the Christmas spirit as the youngest. When I have my own house, I want to cover it in decorations and I want that tree, that giant tree that's in all the movies, all the Christmas movies in New York, I want that tree in my living room. I love Christmas, I love Christmas songs, I love Christmas movies, I love Christmas food. So my plan for Christmas Day this year is to get up pretty early and to go and feed Smudge and then I think him and I will go for a little walk, possibly in the snow, I don't think so, um, snowy Christmases aren't that common here. Um, and then I'll open some presents and then I will eat until I can't move and that's pretty much all there is to it. Christina, I will see you next week where you might tell us about Christmas traditions. I'm not sure. Everybody else, tell me in the comments if there's any weird and wonderful things that you and your family or your country do at Christmas. I have to go to piano lesson, so I will see you all next Thursday. And no, I'm not taking this jumper off until Christmas is over. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.